as you can see, the, the title of the presentation is God Loves Capitalism. Now, this is not meant to be a religious presentation. It's meant to encourage all of you to believe that it's okay to be an innovator. It's okay to be an entrepreneur. It's okay if you change the world for the better, to have an impact, even on the environment. And this is because God wants you to do this. Basically, the message is it's okay to achieve. So let me step back a bit and make the statement that most humans believe in a higher power. Now, in some instances, that's God. And so in Christianity, it's Jesus Christ. Uh, in other religions like Islam, it's, it's Allah. Uh, there are many different religions throughout the world. Uh, some people don't believe in God, but many of them believe in a higher power, something that's driving the universe. And one of the main reasons is because human beings, they have a very strong desire to be good. They really want to make sure that their actions align with what God or the universe wants them to do. Now, on the other hand, if you uh, look at animals, animals are driven by instinct. Nature essentially forces them to do things. For instance, beavers build dams. Birds will build nests. Bees will build hives. On the other hand, humans, they're driven by a code, a code of ethics. And many of them believe that their code is given to them by the God that they believe in. And when they have this code, they have their actions, their day-to-day -day behavior has to align with this code, with these ethics, with their morality. And they want their actions to be loved by the God that they believe in. So the question is asked, does God love capitalism and why? Well, here's one of the most important reasons, if not the most important reason. Capitalism is not selfish. Contrary to what you hear uh, in the media, in the culture, in movies, in other forms of entertainment, social media, capitalism is not selfish. And let's, to prove that, to prove that statement, let's look at what the definition of selfish is. Selfish means when a person or a group is chiefly concerned with one's own pleasure or just the group's pleasure for personal gain. Uh, it has no consideration of other people outside the individual or the group. Now, capitalism, on the other hand, is the complete opposite of that. So let's look at the journey of the entrepreneur. Let's consider someone that's trying to start a business, whether it's a good or a service. The first group that they have to think of outside themselves are the investors. They have to convince people with assets, people with money, people with resources to take a risk and to invest in an idea that this entrepreneur has. They have to trust him. They have to convince suppliers and advertisers and wholesalers, uh, other companies, other businesses to trust them that they're going to be able to deliver their product or their services. They have to hire workers. They have to convince these workers to come to work in this new company and to uh, invest time. Now, these workers are getting paid. They have to pay these workers before the new company actually makes any revenue. If you start a car, when Elon Musk started his car company, Tesla, it took a while before they got any revenue whatsoever. But he had to pay all these workers so that they could keep producing these cars. And in the end, they have to deliver to the customers. They have to deliver a product, a quality product, a, a quality service so that these customers come back and uh, continue being customers so that the business can be successful. So if you look at this, it takes a very long time from the start of the business until the business gains any revenue before the entrepreneur and the business people uh, see any return. So it's, it's the complete opposite of thinking about oneself and only being interested in oneself. You have to think of all these other groups and satisfy all these other groups before you get a return. So let's continue. Why does God love capitalism? God, capitalism, enables what I'm calling godlike innovation. These are things like a spaceship to Mars, a drone uh, that delivers packages to, to rural areas far from the city, um, an automobile of tomorrow. Even today, these are prototypes where if you get in an automobile, soon you're going to be able, it's going to be like a hotel room or a room that you have at home where you can collaborate with uh, other passengers uh, and be very, very productive. Um, innovation gives you advanced parts and, and uh, advanced factories to be able to produce goods in real time. Uh, it's very, very quick nowadays with robotics to have mass uh, production um, and produce these quality products uh, that are different and varied uh, and, and just innovative. Uh, this is a supply chain where goods are delivered uh, worldwide uh, across many different geographies, across many different political boundaries. Uh, uh, so this is all part of business uh, innovation that is driven by capitalism and which uh, God approves of and wants people to engage in. Um, God gave humans the ability to create change. This is another indication why God loves capitalism, because capitalism is the driving force be behind, beyond, 
uh, behind creating change for the better. So here you see an advanced bionics. This is a bionic eye that uh, may someday cure blindness. This is advanced robotic surgery, advanced farming to help feed everyone worldwide. This is advanced manufacturing. This is a 3D printing of houses where they put layers of concrete or other material to quickly uh, create housings and various forms of shelter. And this is a futuristic image of a, of a family enjoying um, outer space travel. Now, this is something I believe that many of you young people will ha have someday. You might take a trip to the moon for entertainment or to Mars someday. You might live there. Uh, this is highly possible within your lifetime. And here's another reason why God loves charity. Uh, and probably one of the most important reasons because capitalism, and I'm sorry, why God loves capitalism because capitalism enables sustainable charity. Now, everyone can give uh, to the poor, to the homeless, um, but but capitalism allows this to happen on a regular basis. There are people like the elderly, uh, the infirm, the handicapped, and, and, and as we mentioned, the poor, and even animals that need to be taken care of. And in order to do this on a sustainable day by day, year by year basis, uh, capitalism is very important for doing that. Uh, it's probably the only political economic system that allows charity to happen on a day to day basis and continuously. Um, and humans want to be charitable. They want to be good to the, to the elderly, to the poor, to the infirmed, and, and even to animals. That's very special. Um, and we're wrapping up here, but I'm making the statement that humans are God's chosen species. Uh, there's an estimated eight to nine million species on the planet. Um, some of them, like I'm showing dolphins here, are, very, are smart in, some, in certain ways, but humans are the only ones that have the ability to leave this planet. And here you see a futuristic image of, of someone in a spacesuit having a, a soft drink uh, on the moon. This, again, will someday be possible uh, to, to young people like yourselves. So why, finally, why does God love capitalism? Because capitalism brings out the best in humans. It allows you, it, it, uh, humans can love without, uh, without money, obviously, but to really um, enjoy life and to become godlike and to become, uh, to reach your fullest extent as a human, to engage in, in um, friendship and, and progress and health, and most importantly, sustainable charity. Capitalism is the best vehicle for doing that. It brings out the best in humans. And that's why God loves capitalism. So to wrap up here, I just want to say happy Global Capitalism Awareness Day. I'm real happy to be part of this every year with all of you. Um, it happens in October. And just remember, God loves capitalism. He wants you to be innovative. He wants you to be entrepreneurs. And it's okay for all of you to impact uh, society. Thank you, guys.